Hello, my name is Jimmy Dominique. I'm a VoIP support engineer here at DIT Logic. Today I'm recording this video from our New York City office and we'll, we'll be discussing how to configure an asterisk based and we'll go ahead and proceed to the outbound routes. Let's click on connectivity and instead of going to the trunks, we're gonna go ahead and go to outbound routes. And we're gonna add a new outbound route. So here, I'm not gonna make a complicated route setup, but for, again, for your own business cases, you will want to consult with your IT professional or a voice engineer in order to, if you have a more com complex organization on how to fully deploy out a, a proper outbound route scheme for your organization. But for today, we're just gonna have a very simple route. Uh, we're only gonna have one outbound route. The route caller ID is, we're just gonna, we don't really need to make the setting here, but just for completeness here. Zero nine, we're just gonna put in the same caller ID because we're only having one caller ID go to this, go to this, go to this uh, PBX. Four. Go. Uh, we don't want to override the extension. Um, password in case you wanted to put a password on there. Again, uh, for your own specific organization, you might want to block block access to certain routes if those routes go internationally or to higher higher cost destinations. Um, this will be a permanent route, and then we'll go ahead and pick the match this to a trunk and we'll have the DID logic in here and so for the dial patterns go ahead and uh, update that as well apply the config Too much for our specific uh, purposes just to set up a outbound round but that should that should more or less take care of it so we'll go ahead and move on to setting up the well yeah we'll set up the inbound route yeah, so we'll use this description that i already had here when i was testing earlier so the did would be the same did we've been using before one six four six eight zero nine seven zero three four yeah, we'll leave the default any on, on the caller ID. I'll just double check the advanced. Nope. And the last thing we'll, we would need to set up is uh, picking a destination for this inbound route. So when somebody calls, where should, where should this what, what phone should ring or uh, what, what, where, where should that call be routed, that inbound call be routed to. So we will go ahead and route it to our own extension. And we'll go ahead and create a new extension. All right, so I'll, I'm just picking uh, extension 9005. Uh, again, just uh, use, use whatever numbers you wish. The outbound caller ID is going to be the same outbound caller ID. And more or less, that should be sufficient for our purposes. So we'll go ahead and save, submit, and apply the config. So at this point, we have set up the SIP trunk and applied the proper SIP details. We confirmed that the peer is up and that the status is okay. We created a outbound route and we created an inbound route as well an extension for to be the destination of that in, inbound route. So at this point, we should be able, uh, assuming we've, did, we've done everything properly, we should be able to Go ahead and set up um, set up a SIP actual phone connected to this PBX and make outbound and inbound calls. 
So we will go ahead and test that right now. So I'm using the, this time I'm using the X-Lite soft phone. Um, again, you could use whether it's a physical phone, any phone that's capable of connecting to the, any SIP IP phone that's capable of connecting to the asterisk base system would, would work for our purposes, but uh, we'll just go ahead and use this one because it's a uh, um, software, very easy to set up. So we'll just go to the preferences, create a new account. So the user ID would be 1005. The domain would be the address of the of the asterisk based PBX, which uh, we have up here, right here. So one zero one. All right. So then next we'll want the password. So in order to go to the password, we'll have to get the password from the extension that we created. So here we see the extension that created. I'm gonna go ahead and edit, and then we're gonna pull the secret from, which was auto-generated by Asterisk from here. And let me just highlight that. And then pull up the soft phone once more. And paste that password in there. Uh, display name, uh, would, this would just be whatever name you would like to pop up as well as the number phone here. And then the authorization name or the auth name would be the same as the username. So in this case, it's 9005, same extension. Because uh, the soft phone is registering to the PBX and then the PBX is in turn registering to the DID logic proxy. Those settings look good, so we're gonna go ahead and check. All right, so we do we did get a green uh, status, so that did appear to register successfully. So I will go ahead and test. Here, I'm just getting my. The number you have dialed is not okay. in service. Please check this. Oh, something is not working correctly. So what we can do is Test, test. Okay, so that outbound test did seem to work. Uh, I did accidentally put in the pattern on the outbound route into the wrong field, put in the prefix field instead of the pattern field. But uh, again, again, so you do want to double check your settings and make sure that the settings are working. So the PBX was actually blocking the call from actually proceeding forward to the trunk. But other than that, and then we will go ahead and test the inbound as well. So we'll call back the same number from that same cell phone. There we go. So we can see we have the incoming call from the same number. So we pick up test, test, test. test. All right. So uh, that that's, should be successful, and you do want to test both the inbound and the outbound. Uh, the other the other things that we could also do is that can help troubleshoot issues when they arise 
is uh, if you do a debug command, so you do a sip, sip that debug here, the ID logic. There we go. And if we did another test here, we can also see we can also see the output from from our calls here all the logs from asterisks. Uh, usual common issues are not sending the numbers in the E.164 format, so that will cause the number to be declined. Um, not checking to see if you're registered. So yeah, you do, if you're using your SIP account, you do need to be registered before sending the call through otherwise the test will the call will be declined um you do also want to make sure there are funds on the account that's also so you do want to eliminate all the easy answers all the common causes first as you're troubleshooting and before uh, uh before delving into anything too complicated um because mo most of the time it's a little uh, simple Simple problems, as, as you saw earlier the, with the uh, outbound routes uh, being being the cause for the earlier test that failed. So that should cover the topic for today. Um, I'll be looking forward to making more of this content, and uh, please enjoy uh, uh, using our DIV Logic services. And we're here to help you if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you. Mm -hmm.